Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? This Uncle Tim's rantings and reviews. I'm Uncle Tim, how you doing Timsters? Um, first, I wanna say thank you for all the love, the support, the positivity that you bring to this channel each time that you come. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for uh, giving me the confidence to change the name of the channel. Because, you know, someone pointed out, hey, man, I watched like 20, 25 of your videos, and I realized, man, not one of your videos you doing reviews in. <laughs> man, you should change your name. And I thought about it. I said, man, damn, he do get a point. Rantings and reviews. I do a lot more ranting than reviews, fam. You know what? That's true, though. You can't call, you know, you call a spade a spade. You know, that gave me the courage to change the name. You know, without ridicule. Now, fam, I want to ask you all. You all done seen the Masters of the Universe figures, right? You know how they're changing them and everything like that. They got that new Beast Man, and they got um, Catra. Um, they got, look like that other cartoon version of He-Man. Um, they got Skeletor, that new Skeletor. And they got a few other figures that I have to just sit back and say, what is really going on here now i noticed one thing about masters of the universe they always on sale and make you just want to go and pick them up right but once you get to the store you can't find a damn figure you want all i see is skeleton god skeletor and regular he-man fam come on we better than this and i might see andrea you know when i was looking for i couldn't find her but now that I ain't looking for I could find a ton of them. Triclops, when I was looking for him, I couldn't find him. Hell, I'm starting to see Trap Jaw in the store now. You know, um, fam, this is the thing that's tripped, some, tripped me out. They starting to do a lot of good offerings with Masters of the Universe. Mattel, they starting to do a lot of good stuff here. But we running into one big problem. That problem is the product. If you still got the same old merchandise on the shelves, I don't give a damn how many sales you run. You ain't got no product to put on the shelves. You just got old merchandise. Nobody ain't looking for that old ass merchandise. Excuse the language, nobody is. And to all the kids who are watching, I apologize again. It's just sometimes I get frustrated when I see some of this stuff because it's like sometimes people don't think. And, you know, they think that we're going to buy anything and, you know, we throw it on sale for, uh, again, how much you throwing it on sale? We're going to throw them on sale for $13.99. Then we're going to make the regular origin figures like $8.99. So, you know, you think you're getting a deal, but you don't have a variety. And see, that's the thing. This is what I've been trying to tell a lot of people. You can make sale after sale after sale on any figure you want, but if you don't have no variety, nobody gonna buy. You ain't gonna make no money. See, you gotta travel around and, you know, do this thing. You know, you gotta hunt. But see, one thing about the hunt that's being, that's hindering a lot of people is the gas prices. You know, we all like to hunt. You know, they said in the group, they said, hey, what new did you buy this week? I put gas, a whole tank of gas. You know, a whole tank of gas, fam. Y'all thinking like, oh, well, you know, I got SUV, you know. That ain't cheap. And you sitting back <laughs> looking at all of this, trying to figure what is really going on. You know, I used to go from store to store and look around and, you know, and, you know, look through things and look on eBay and Amazon while I'm there trying to see who got the best prices, right? Fam, I'm starting to realize I can't move around like that no more. You know, I got to stay in a vicinity because those prices of gas, you know, again, you raised all the known necessities, food, gas, water. <laughs> Shit, yeah, some of us pay for water to come in the house, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Garbage. They raised the price on every damn thing, right? Man, I'm serious. They raised the price. So, you sitting here thinking, what disposable income do I have at this particular point? And like I said, they pretty much destroyed disposable income right now. Because I cannot even see 
they ain't able to spend too much of anything. You know, at this particular point in time, I'm just tired. I'm at the point where I actually want to buy some stuff, but I'm trying to figure out now how I'm going to buy it. <laughs> man, food is so expensive now. I was at the store anytime, but I know y'all done seen this. I was at Aldi's. Aldi's used to be the cheapest of everybody. Tell me why they so damn expensive now. I went in there. I looked around and walked right back out of there. I guess the guy was looking at me like I was stealing. I walked right back out. He was like, what's wrong? I said, the shit too high. He started laughing. I mean, you couldn't stop him from laughing because <laughs> you see a few people just leave right out. And nobody got time for that. When times are tough, you're not trying to um, spend more than what you, what you can or what you can afford, fam. Look. You know, I, got, I used to shop at Dollar Tree a while back, before, you know, back in the day. And I used to get certain things from there. You know, they known for some of the certain things like pop, water, you know, you can get some various food products like pizza. You know, fam, when I was a bachelor, your unk loved to get pizza because pizza was pizza. You know, um, but as time went on and I started noticing they had a little store called Deals too that sold frozen stuff. And you know, it was pretty, it was it was cool. But what happened was all of those stores combined together and <laughs> it wasn't what you thought it would be after a while. What I'm just trying to say here, I know you said your uncle's yawning. What is going on? It's early. Your uncle is sitting here just thinking. Things change so quick. You know, it went from, you know, uh, man, I'm going to just buy them all to, you know, well, I may get a couple of figures out of the wave. Then it went to, I'm going to cherry pick. Now it's just looking at me um, browsing now. That's just how it's working now because everybody done raised their prices. And like I said, it's not going to be long before Masters of the Universe raised their price. Fam. I know y'all sitting here thinking like, oh, that's all you do is complain. That's all damn right. <laughs> you have every right. Like I said, this is a safe space to complain because you vent here. You know, it's like, <laughs> man, even the things that bring you joy are starting to cost even much, much more now. You're like, well, you know, hey, how much? What? you like, man, you know, well, you know, the air prices is going to change. You'd be like, man, you know, well, you know, air is like seven seventy five. you know, you know, however they do it now. You know, you like, you know, you got air that all of a sudden you can't afford the damn air. You got the air in your mama name. Your mama been dead for three years. And <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm bad, right? So at what point in time, DVD prices were really reasonable, right? You know, you go in there, you know, and they had DVDs on sale for eleven ninety nine. You know, the Blu-ray, you know, was like seventeen, fifteen. You know, then it went to nineteen. Now it's like twenty two to thirty. You like, wow. Then people are swearing by four K. Man, please get what you could afford. Don't go getting some nonsense you can't afford. You try to upgrade. You know, that's the best picture quality. No, it's not. Whatever you get a chance to see, you enjoy your movies on whatever it is, that's the only thing that matters, fam. People are making too much out of nothing. You know, I noticed with the video game situation, you know, I had a lot of people browbeating me over, you know, getting a digital PS5. And, you know, they were like, you know, CDs, you know, digital you never own the copies you just bet i get that but i'm gonna say something the ps5 digital for me was a way to save space just being real um it was just a way for me to actually look at it and understand what the hell i really need at this particular point in time you know i'm limited for space and i know a lot of people say hey oh man when you gonna show us a 
you know, a tour of the place, you know. <laughs> man, my, my space is, man, it's so limited. I don't know how to properly show it. You know, I want to show it, you know. I have to move some stuff around. I got to move this lip Funko area around to the side so I can show all the shoes off. There's a ton of shoes behind me. Going all the way to the ceiling, to the floor, up at the top. It's G.I. Joe spaceships. You know, on this side, you got the double deck of pterodromes and the Joes on the top that you rarely ever see. The Voltron, the Castle of Lions. Uh, like I said, at one point, I had two of those. You know, um, you know the predecessors to the Zoids, which were the Starriors. And I have the Cobra looking um, headquarters. You know, fam, look. I want to say this. Back in the day, toys were fun to collect. You had all type of toys. I mean, you had Black Star. You had... Shit. You had Brave Star. You had He-Man, G.I. Joe, uh, Starriors, uh, Inhumanoids. Um, shit. Uh, Mask. Um, Inspector Gadget. You had everything going on. I'm serious. You had everything. SWAT cats, TMNT. You know, and you know, one comment on the page says something that I really had to say. NECA has a wonderful line of figures, but all they produce is damn near Ninja Turtles. And I'm like, don't y'all get tired of turtles? Super 7. Don't they get tired of turtles? And I ain't no lie, the turtles are the closest thing that look really good on Super 7. The Transformers look hideous. It's just like the Thundercats. Once you get past wave one with the Thundercats, everything else is like, what? What? What happened? That's the way you're looking, like, what happened? Once they get past all those Maddie Collect figures, it's just like everything else just fell off. They're not thinking. No one is thinking. It's like they half ass in the toys, DC Multiverse. Now, I like I said, it's there. It, he puts it on a shelf. I mean, his stuff comes out. He, You know, the pre-order comes up tomorrow. You know, you'd be like, yeah, they got new toys coming, so we're going to put the pre-orders out, you know, for people, you know, to pre-order. And you thinking like, damn, this is going to take for years. And next month, the damn pre-orders hit. You start getting your merchandise. You're like, wow, like, what is this? One thing about it is he do too many of the same figures. You know, and I understand, you know, when you start going off script and producing too many figures, you have a lot of people not wanting to mess with them. But this is the thing that you have to take the chance on. You know, you got to have more than just the same basic figures because after a while it gets boring. <sighs> G.I. Joe Classified. You got a lot of repaints coming. The Blue Ninja ain't nothing but a repaint of the Red Ninja. Kamara, Kamara, uh, Kamara, whatever it is. I'm trying to figure, you know, it's like nobody's paying attention to what people are saying. All the figures that you've been asking for, you know, you about to get rock and roll and snow job. You'd be like, well, I'm not about to get anything because they haven't produced a figure in over a year. What are you getting? You know, a lot of people still can't find the Bats and Alley Vipers in stores. You know, you found the pack in that came with it. Uh, what's his name? Um, is that Gun Ho? You know, that was the pack in with them. But you can't find the other figures. Fam, and that's the thing that you sit back and look at. You know, I was talking to people about Mattel and... Um, the Hot Wheels, man, that that is off the wall. That is crazy. They out there stocking the shelves. I thought the guy worked there. This guy is a collector says scalper. He was looking for all the treasure hunts, found every last one of them, and then when he was done, he hung the stuff up, set the box on the floor, got the ones he wanted, and left. 
I said, is this what we doing there? What fun is this? Who is this helping? This is not helping nobody, fam. It's not. And at this particular point in time, you know, it's like we're trying too hard to be in a hobby that don't want us to be in it. Just be honest. Fam, just honestly. I, I don't know what to do at this particular point in time. You know, I still want to collect. I still want to buy stuff. I still want to get out there and hunt, get out there and go to store to store just to, you know, to fill it. So I have went to store to store for a minute, you know, like while we were in certain areas, you know, the family traveling and doing things, you know, so we stopped by. But like I said, you see dry stores. You know, in some stores, it's a straight up drought. I understand what some people are saying about it's a drought out here. It's a drought. And, you know, I noticed, like I said before, I noticed a lot of people started getting into other toy lines, you know, because, you know, they can't find what they're looking for. You know, at one point in time, I got into Funko Pops because I couldn't find none of the stuff I was looking for. You know, I had got off into Legos at one point in time. I ended up selling them off because I'm like, wait, I'm just really not into them. <laughs> it takes too much time. I'm like, look, I don't got that much time. You know, like I said, in the beginning, I was really into video games, man. But it took too much time, too. I'm like, hmm. So right now, I'm just cherry picking my time because so much of stuff is taking so much time. That hell. None of us got time to do half of the stuff we want to do. You know, you want to go watch a movie, you at the theater, it takes three damn hours with some of these movies. I watched Jurassic Park. It was the worst movie out of the whole franchise. I didn't know what the hell happened in that one. I don't know what they were thinking. It's like they thought... You know, if we just put another movie out, then we put all the people who were in the originals in there. Oh, we got a recipe for success. Oh, it's the number one movie in the in 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 the country right now. Yeah, just because of the name. But once you went in there and seen it, you're like, what the hell happened? You know, the dinosaurs weren't doing amazing things. You thought you was gonna see crazy stuff. All the stuff you seen on the previews for this particular movie. Those were the best parts. It was too much of learning. They introduced too many stories. And you thought by introducing these stories, it was going to play some sort of part in the actual movie itself. And it didn't play nothing. You thought you would see a sneak peek at the end of the movie for something else coming. That was nothing. You just waited your ass till the whole movie was over. And there was nothing short. I was so upset. I got up and said, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I can't get this time back. It's just like going to see Morbius and you thought it was going to actually be good. And you realize, you say, this guy's a C-list villain. How the hell do he get his whole, a whole movie, right? What they messed up with Morbius was they should have honestly put Spider-Man in it. You know, he didn't need a hell of a role in it. You need to have Spider-Man show up at least four or five times. Tom Holland, you needed him in there a couple of times to say, what are you doing? You know doing this will cause this. You know, something to get the movie going. Man, you seen this and you was like, man, this movie bombed. It tanked. It just didn't work out. One of the greatest movies I've seen so far this year there's two there's downtown abbey i know you like oh come on a period piece yeah a period piece my wife wanted to see it i went to see it with her i said man come on i said i'm gonna take it to go see it and i really enjoyed it man next movie top gun oh man they blew that one out the water i would love to get the jets from that movie because man they would work really good with gi joe classified Especially the experimental jet. That would have been cold for this. Fam, this is why I was trying to buy those Buzz Lightyear's um, spaceships before I could try to um, custom myself, you know, for, you know, the line. Because 
The Night Ravens are so expensive. The Sky Strikers are so expensive. These damn Mud Sweepers are so expensive. I mean Sky Sweepers, rather. You know, you remember these back from G.I. Joe versus Cobra? Back in 2000, what, five, four or five? You remember what happened there, you know, where it's, um, they brought G.I. Joe into the actual um, do, uh, dollar stores? They had these in Family Dollar, Dollar General, and these were reasonable prices. I had the whole line. I had Serpentor, Cobra Commander, I had Destro. But again, your uncle didn't realize at the time what was going on. You know, he had an um, opportunity to collect the whole line all over again. And what he did was, at a later date, he ended up selling the whole collection. Got a little money for it, yeah. Got way more than, way more than what I expected for. Way more. But you learn. You learn. This stuff is hard to get back, fam. But it's just me just reiterating to everybody out there. They are killing our hobbies. If you watching movies... You collecting gym shoes. If you know anything about gym shoes, you know right now what's happening with gym shoes. They're not even really making Jordans the way they used to. They used to be sold. Now they're glued. Do you know what it's like to have a pair of glued shoes on that you haven't worn in a while? Do you know how many pair of Jordans that, um, that was so rare that I bought and I put them on and they just fell apart? They weren't fake. It's just the glue. You got a pair of shoes with 20-year-old glue on them. How do you think that's going to work? That ain't going to work. And this is why I'm saying you got to pick and choose stuff. This is why I go for stuff that I can see value in now. You know, like, you know, not like if I'm going to try to resell it. I'm talking about the value of buying. It's like it will work, you know, at a later date with what I have on. You know, it's just real. apologize you know fam but you know it's just real out here i'm just keeping it real it's you so tired even your gadgets you starting to notice that the gadgets are not all the way pristine like they supposed to be like you know you buy some a part is missing and you like damn if i take this back i'd never get it again and fam they're killing our hobbies all of them. You know, like I said, in a minute, we're going to just pretty much be saying adios to all this stuff. Because the way it's working, it's like they're trying their best to get us to eliminate what it is that we do. So right now, fighting hard as we can to keep stuff going. But that's going the way of the dinosaur. And what I'm recommending right now is take your time, save your money. Look at what you could actually get out the deal that's actually worth buying. But fam, I know I started all of this talking about Masters of the Universe. It's just basically me saying that you seeing this happen with all these other lines. They all go on sale. All of them do. But after a while, it just gets crazy. If you notice, I was into Zoids. I, like I told you, I was into Zoids for a while. And back in the day, I was buying lots of them. What you can get is damn near 20, 30 of them in a lot. <clears throat> like a zero of all kinds, I had close to 60 of them. Because they were so easy to get, but now they're so pricey. Everything is so damn pricey. The Transformers, they're an arm and a leg now. Ah, the Voltrons, they are an arm and a leg. For all the deluxe, they're like $600. They got one that cost a thousand damn dollars. They got one specialty Serpentor that cost damn near 600 to a thousand dollars. I'm not about to pay for that. Out of real money that I have to make working a job. What the hell are these people thinking? Remember the prices of video games had rose so high that all of a sudden the bubble bust, the market crashed. You know, basically it's crashing now because all those prices that those scalpers were getting and bragging about on YouTube, 
you know, during 2020, 2021, um, those prices are gone. You know, <laughs> premiums and everything, you can't get that stuff no more. No one's in the house to even play this stuff. So why would they do any of it? Just my thoughts and opinions, fam. Till later, thank you so much for watching. This was a real rant, and I just wanted to be honest about it. Thank you.